Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Amazon Basics half inch drive click torque wrench. Um, I just got this from Amazon. It does 25 foot pounds to 250 foot pounds. And let me show you guys something here. So um, when I got this torque wrench, the first thing I noticed, it was a lot bigger than what I expected. So I have another torque wrench here and this other torque wrench just does 10 foot pounds to 150 foot pounds. So it's going to be smaller because it's not as heavy duty, but just to give you an idea of how big the Amazon Basics torque wrench is. What I'm going to show you in this video is we're going to take the torque wrench out. We're going to give it a once over. I'm going to show you how to set the value that you want to set on it. And then we're going to test it on my 2006 Toyota Corolla on the wheel lug nuts. Um, the wheel lug nuts on my Toyota Corolla need to be set to 76 foot pounds. So we're going to torque that down with this torque wrench. And then we're going to use this other torque wrench here just to verify that this actually torqued it down to the correct value. So we'll, we'll ensure that this comes properly calibrated. Um, in reading through the owner's manual, it does say that there's a plus or minus 4% uh, variance on the torque wrench. And from what I've seen on other torque wrenches, that's pretty standard. So um, let's go ahead and take this out of the case and get a closer look at the torque wrench here. All right, guys, here's the owner's manual too. And make sure to read through this in its entirety and make sure you understand it completely before you do use the torque wrench. It will tell you everything you need to know on how to use the torque wrench both safely and properly. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this inside the case here. This is the conversion table, and that's cool that they have that stamped into the case. Um, it just gives you a way to convert foot pounds into meter kilograms into newton meters, so that's cool to have. Okay, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the torque wrench. All right, guys, let's give the torque wrench a once over, and then I will show you guys how to set the torque wrench to a specific value. So here on this side of the torque wrench, uh, we have the newton meters right here, and it's etched into the torque wrench. Um, on the other side here, we have the foot pounds. Here's the handle of the torque wrench, and it's got a good grip on it. Uh, here's the lock knob down here, and we'll talk more about that when we um, set the value on this torque wrench. And we're going to set it to 76 foot pounds, which is the... Um, uh, specification for my 2006 Toyota Corolla wheel lug nuts. Um, and then here's this side of the torque wrench. There is the half inch drive. And then here is where you can change the directions uh, back and forth on the torque wrench. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys now how to set the torque wrench to a specific value. All right. So um, let's take a look down here. So if you look at the torque wrench, um, here's the newton meter side, here's the foot pound side, and it's currently set uh, right there to 25 foot pounds. Um, and this is the lowest setting. This is how you always want to store your torque wrench when you're not using it at the lowest setting. Okay, and here's a close up of the foot pounds. And so like right now it would be at 25 foot pounds. If you see off the 25, it like zigzags down. And then when the zero, the line coming off the zero meets that, that's 25 foot pounds. So then like that would be 26 foot pounds. 27 foot pounds, 28 foot pounds, etc. Um, the specification for the wheel lug nuts on my 2006 Corolla is 76 foot pounds. So we do have a 75 number there. So let's twist up to it. And when you twist it up, you have to loosen the um, lock knob down here. So let's twist this up here. And right there we're at 75 foot pounds so then the next notch there right there is 76 foot pounds and then we're going to twist the lock knob back in to lock it in place and now this is ready to torque the wheel lug nuts down to 76 foot pounds uh, after i put the the socket on the torque wrench so let me get my safety equipment on and we're going to head out to the 2006 Corolla. I'll put the socket on here and we'll tighten up the wheel lug nut to 76 foot pounds. And then we'll test it against my other torque wrench just to verify the calibration on this torque wrench is correct. So, all right guys, um, let's head out to the car. 
All right, guys, so this is the wheel lug nut. We're gonna test it on, and I've loosened it up, and I'm just tightening it down by hand there. We already sent the Amazon Basics torque wrench to 76 foot-pounds in the garage. Um, so the way that this works is when we do this, we wanna make sure that we do it smoothly and slowly here. And you're listening for the click of the torque wrench, and as soon as you hear it, you wanna stop immediately. If you go past it at all, uh, you're going to be over torquing whatever you're trying to torque down. Should be coming any time here. There it goes right there. So as long as this torque wrench is calibrated, we know that we have this wheel lug nut set to 76 or torque down to 76 foot pounds plus or minus 4%. So now let's go ahead and let's test it against the other torque wrench. All right, guys, so I have my other torque wrench here and I have it set to 76 foot pounds. And we're gonna test this wheel lug nut right here just to make sure that it did get torqued down to at least 76 foot pounds. If this torque wrench doesn't move this wheel lug nut at all, then we also need to test it and make sure that the Amazon Basics torque wrench didn't over torque it. If it moves it just a little bit, that's within that plus or minus 4%. Um, so let's go ahead and try it now and see what happens. And let's just keep a close eye on this and see if it moves at all. And as you saw there, it moved a little bit. So, uh, you know, I would think that's within the plus or minus 4% on the Amazon Basics torque wrench. Uh, so it torqued it right around 76 foot pounds. So there's no need for us to run an additional test with this torque wrench. So uh, let's go ahead and head back into the garage and give a final recap and review. All right, guys, that was it. The Amazon Basics half inch drive click torque wrench. It's a nice torque wrench. It's good quality. It's heavy duty. I like it. Um, since we're done using it for today, we are going to uh, set it to the lowest setting. And we do that just by loosening the lock knob here. And then we'll twist the handle down here to 25 foot pounds, which is right there. You guys see that? It's kind of hard because the uh, the etchings on it are silver, but I think you guys can, let me see if that'll focus. There we go, 25 foot pounds there. And then we'll just uh, twist the lock knob back to tighten that down. So um, yeah, this is a nice torque wrench for the money. It comes with the case so you can store it away when you're not using it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.